Hey YouTube, what's up? So, I'm gonna make another vlog here. It's uh, a little bit kind of late on this, but I wanted to touch the subject on it since I'm a runner myself. Uh, ultra marathon runner Micah True, aka Caballo Blanco. You know, back in uh, late March, he went for a 12 mile run while searches were going out for him a couple of days. Well, they found his body few days later and yeah he was dead at, at age 58 and what really bums me about this is though after reading about this guy so much it it brought my passion back to running a lot you know especially reading the book Born to Run by Christopher McDougall if you haven't read it you need to read it it is a fantastic book and if you're a running fanatic you'll love it I'm telling you but what really sucks is, though, this guy, I never had a chance to meet him and all that, but what I've read from him, he could have, it was like that type, it was like that person that you want to be around with, you know, especially when you go out for a run. And what sucks is, though, those people, why do they have to go so soon? And what also is going to suck about this, though, and a lot of ignorant people are going to say this, oh, all that running, though, that's probably not good for you, good for your heart. Now, the the autopsy has not I've been trying to like uh look up and see what they found what caused his death but they still haven't come up with that yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb and say that it probably had to do with the heart. He probably had a heart attack because they found no uh no bruising, no kind of trauma force or anything. He was just there, you know, just unresponsive, so it had had to be the heart. Now, I'm not saying that all that running is gonna is not good for your heart and all that, because I know people who are older than 58 that always run all the time, maybe not run as much, but they constantly run every single day, and they're fine with their heart. It's just the person, you know? Who knows? Maybe, I mean, some people could live up to be 100 running 15, 20 miles a day, you know? The, it, it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Unfortunately for Micah True, he just had to go. It sucks, though, because, yeah, like I said, it brought back my run, my passion for running after reading about him, though. And, yeah, it's just, why? The question is, why, why, why does this stuff happen? Oh, it's an experience. You know, you got to live through it. It's like, yeah, but it's an experience... That sucks that why do you have to go through something bad to to gain good experience later on, you know? It's just that, do we have to go to this difficult transition phase just to get to the knowledge, the power, the phase where we want to be at later in life, you know? But, yeah, it's uh, it sucks, man. It really does suck. And I know I'm a little late on it, though, but... I went for a 10 mile run today, and I was just thinking about that. And that's the thing also about running, though. If you go out for a good, a good, good long run, you could think of so much shit just constantly to go into your head as you're running. And honestly, that, that's how time goes by quick. So I wanted to kill at least an hour, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm just going out to run. So you just go out to run, and just uh, you could think about a lot of stuff, you know. Take the stress, drama, bullshit out the window and just think about the important things. The things you need to focus, concentrate on. That's what you should do for running and that run will go easily and smooth. You'll be done with it in no time. But, again, rest in peace to Michael True, a.k.a. Caballo Blanco, which in Spanish means white horse. I hope ultra running still... I, I think it still is going to live on. It's going to be even stronger now, though, you know, I hope more people get involved, and I know a lot of people hate running or know the fact that they're all those scared of getting injured, well, how do you know if that's going to happen to you, you haven't tried, you know, how about you ditch those big ass cushioned shoes of yours, and go for something less cushioned, you know, very light, or um, try to make homemade sandals, you know, Try try to go step outside the norm. Don't do what everybody else is doing. Just do what certain few are doing. You know? 
I'm telling you, it, it will, because I started wearing less cushion shoes, focus more on my running. I'm running more than I ever have, and I'm healthy. Hold on. <laughs> Knock on wood. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, sucks about like a true. My deepest condolences goes out to his friends, family, and again, I hope ultra uh, marathon running lo still live on. I still want to do that Copper Canyon ultra marathon thing. So it would have to be what next. What, February, March next year, something like that. I really want to do it, you know, because I'm trying to see how how uh, how much I could run without stopping. So I've I've gone up to about let's see, almost 20 miles without stopping. <laughs> yeah. Now I will I am trying to see if I could do a marathon soon too. I know I could do it though. I just haven't ran that much yet. <laughs> so so my body has to follow my ego. But again, though, just keep keep the spirit of running alive. That's that's what we should do, you know, because that's what Caballo Blanco wanted. So do what he wanted, and it will be a better place, you know. Anyways, I'm done, and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo!